Trust me, me and Shane used to be best friends, okay? And it does, it keeps you locked in. It keeps you in this box like you can't get out. When you start to be vulnerable, nine times out of 10, when you actually being vulnerable, you've embraced who you really are. You've embraced your story. You looked at your flaws and said, that's me. <laughs> that's me. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, y'all, to another moment with joy. Yeah, it's our time, it's our time, it's our time to heal, to evolve, to transform, to just change our lives and get back to like the best version of ourselves, right? And this is our moment. It's a safe place for you right here on this couch with me. And today I have a beautiful episode for you guys. And before we get into it, Y'all already know I need y'all to subscribe to the channel. Go ahead, press the subscribe button and send this video to two people. Send it to two people, okay? Um, because we're going to be dropping love every what? Tuesday and Thursday. Y'all already know what it is, okay? Y'all. Yeah. <laughs> so, I am happy as always that you guys are here to share space and to share time with me. And I, I want to just appreciate each of you guys for always tuning in with me and showing love so put your names in the chat drop those green hearts and say hey to your girl because I want to see you and I want to talk to you okay um so today we have a truly heartfelt episode for you for you for you we will be exploring the power of vulnerability and discovering ways to embrace it within ourselves and to share with others that's what we're doing. So I need you to grab your blanket, grab your tea. Yep, tea, dandelion, if y'all really want to know. And your journals. Get your journals, y'all. And we're going to dive into the, to the episode, okay? Um, let's define vulnerability first. Let's do that. It is not, come on, say it with me and put it in your journals. It is not, it is not, it is not a weakness, okay? Because I looked up the definition and it says some things that I just don't, it just doesn't resonate with me in this season. It might resonate later, but today it's not. So vulnerability is the core of emotions and feelings is not a weakness, okay? If we prevent ourselves from being vulnerable, we can never truly experience our emotions. And y'all got to feel, okay? We need, to, we need to be able to feel, okay? And um, our attempts to prevent shame, embarrassment, and sadness also prevents us from experiencing love, belonging, joy, and empathy. Vulnerability often finds its roots in our life's experiences, um, in the stories we carry within, within us. <clears throat> and sometimes it begins with fear of judgment, because sometimes vulnerability, most of us hide our vulnerability once it gets tainted. And you know how it gets tainted, y'all. Because once we come out the womb, we open, we're free. I don't like that. I don't like that. But if somebody tell you, shut up, you don't like what? You don't have no, no thought, no opinion. Your feelings become mute. And a lot of us experience that as children. Um... So when it's time to be an adult and it's time to open up and it's time to talk, we have a hard time doing that based on fear of being judged. Meaning, you so sensitive. Get on back. Get over there. You could take that, you know, as a, as a child. And then we felt that rejection. Girl, go over there and cry. Don't come over here trying to hug me. I don't want to touch you. I don't want to see you. We've heard that before. And that will cause pain and scars and wounds that some people never get over. And it prevents them from tapping into the power of vulnerability, okay? And some of us have been vulnerable, and guess what they did? They betrayed your trust, and they took that vulnerability and spread it all around because we weren't finding safe places to drop what was given to us or how we felt or how we feel or what happened to us. We put it in the wrong hands. Okay, so this episode, we're going to dive into the power of vulnerability. And as we dive into that, remember that vulnerability is what? Not a weakness. And I want y'all to say that with me. Vulnerability is not a weakness. It is strength in its purest form. 
it is strength in its purest form, y'all. And it holds the key to deep healing and connection, not with just yourself, but with others in the world around you. Vulnerability, it's a word that often makes us feel so uneasy. I know for me, it's been a struggle. This podcast has helped me open up in so many ways that I didn't even recognize. And my vulnerability has also gotten me in situations that I that didn't feel good, right? Because because I'm open doesn't mean everybody that's attached to me is. So that's one thing about vulnerability that makes it uneasy for people. Like it's it's like peeling off your layers of protection that you built up. And those protect those walls that we built up around us and around others so much so that we we're not just hiding from the world anymore. We're hiding from ourselves with those walls. And so today we're going to drop those layers and we're just going to start peeling them back slowly. We're not ripping off a band-aid. We ain't doing none of that today. We're peeling these layers back. And yes, they protected you to here, but we're going to find ways to drop those protective layers because you are already protected. You are safe and you are whole and well and grounded right here. Okay. So let me tell you something thing today embracing vulnerability is where true healing true growth truth true transformation all of that begins right at vulnerability okay so what's the first way joy I hear you talking about vulnerability but what's the first way that I can start being vulnerable because a lot of y'all in my email and my DM want to want joy I just want to be more open I want to be able to tell my story I want to be able to show people that I care I work because because I'm just so so how do how do y'all say it in a nutshell? Not turned off by being being open, but you, you guys have been hurt, and I want to let you know that being vulnerable allows you to tap into this power that is like no other. Okay, so the first step for me that I think opens up your vulnerable side is embracing your story. A lot of us have not embraced our story. A lot of us hate talking about what we've been through it is horrible 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 I don't want to talk about it it happened to me but that's a long time ago and hear me I am all for and not living in the past but vulnerability allows you to open up and say what happened to you and how you got over it what you're going through if you're still not over it but that vulnerability opens up doors for so many connections with other people in yourself so the first step is embracing our own stories the joys the sorrows the triumphs the struggles the good times the bad times all of it we have to start embracing embracing it and each of us carry a unique narrative that shapes who we really are embrace the fullness of your experiences today for they have shaped you into this extraordinary being that you are it's a beautiful beautiful person and stronger wiser because we've been through things that we came out of but just nobody knows and I think a lot of us don't open up because of that we haven't embraced our life we haven't embraced the cars that God gave us we haven't embraced those lemons that we turned into lemonade and don't nobody know we did it and vulnerability allow you to to open up and start sharing those things. And, and, and nine times out of 10, when we start to embrace our story, the thing that we were so ashamed of, the thing that we thought everybody would just, oh, if they knew that about me, they'll hate me. When we start opening up, we learn that there are people that are just like us that went through the same thing that we went through. And guess what? And, and your story will help someone not go through that. They'll look at you and go, oh, okay, sis, sis did that. I ain't going to go that route. <laughs> I'm going to bag it up, think about it again, you know, and vulnerability will allow you to look at your story and go, God freed me from this. God, let me come out of this. And it'll help somebody else, okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to start embracing our story. Don't be ashamed. Your life, your story is beautiful. And the second way, if you want to be more vulnerable, Mo, I'm so country. My mama told me I was country on this show this one. Um, if you want to be more vulnerable, <laughs> we have to also release shame and judgment. Y'all, write that down in your journal. Let go of shame and judgment. I'm letting go of shame and judgment. Say it again. I'm letting go of shame and judgment. Judgment. 
Shame keeps us small and prevents us from fully growing and embracing vulnerability. It keeps you small minded. It does because shame, that that cloud of shame. Trust me, me and shame used to be best friends. Okay. And it does, it keeps you locked in. It keeps you in this box like you can't get out. And I'm telling you, you cannot live your life with that shame hanging over you. You have to let it go today. You have to embrace your story. And you have to let go of the things that happen in your story that you need forgiveness for. Come on, we got to let the things go. And that's what vulnerability does is opens us up so we can see and we can start clearing out. Okay, and shame also stems from the perfectionism part of us, the need to be perfect. And we're going to release that today. I release the need for perfection. Go ahead and write that down. I release the need for perfection and start understanding that vulnerability (laughs) is your strength. Vulnerability lets you know I'm I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. I don't have to be. I'm coming here and I'm doing my best. And that's enough. And then the next day I do better than that because I'm my own competition. So I'm always going to want to do better. But the truth is what I'm doing is it. And when you become more vulnerable and you see it as a strength, you just begin to embrace your imperfections and you begin to celebrate the beauty of your uniqueness. That's what this is. It. That's, that's all this is. When you start to be vulnerable nine times out of ten when you actually being vulnerable you've embraced who you really are you've embraced your story you looked at your flaws and said that's me huh that's me and I'm working on certain things yeah but I'm embracing the fact that yeah I do I will what's some imperfections that I <laughs> y'all ain't gonna give me <laughs> just know this I've embraced my imperfections. And even, I'll say one, I'm country. I talk a little country sometimes. And before I did this podcast, I had to embrace that. That's a part of it. I'm from the east side of Atlanta. And this is how all of my people talk. This is, this is me. And I I almost took a speech class, y'all. I almost took a speech class because I was like, that sounds real bad. But I had to start embracing my voice. I had to start embracing things that I thought weren't perfect when they are. I had to start celebrating the beauty that my voice held. Like, it's just, it's unique, it's different. And now there are tons of people who are being touched by my voice. Now, what if I would have just gave into that embarrassment, that shame, that all that? Y'all wouldn't even have this show. I wouldn't even have this show. We wouldn't even be helping each other grow and evolve. So we got to start embracing our imperfections and letting God just do what he do with us. Okay? We're beautiful and we're unique and that is a fact. Okay? So how else, Joy, how can I be more vulnerable? You have to start honoring your boundaries. Yeah. Vulnerability does not mean sacrificing your sense of self or disregarding your needs. Okay. It's about finding balance between openness and self-protection. This is good. Because you, a lot of us have been vulnerable with people and thought it was safe and it wasn't. So the way to become more vulnerable is knowing what to share and knowing what not to share. How do you find that out, Joy? Being with yourself first doing the inside work with yourself first, writing down all the imperfections that show up, writing down all the beautiful things that show up, writing down your story and saying, that hurt me, this grew me, this destroyed me, this elevated me. You're writing everything down so you can see it. And after you wrote it down, you look at that and you go, okay, that part of my story, I ain't really really liking too much. That part of my story, I would never want to hear come back to me. So we just going to leave that out. That's between me and God. But this other part, I need to find a safe place so I can get this out of me and get some some help, some encouragement, some connection from someone. And it's okay to be open, but find the balance between openness and self-protection. So you're protecting your heart, you're guarding it, and you're being 
mindful of that, okay? So set healthy boundaries. Put that down. I will set healthy boundaries that allow me to feel safe while I'm fostering connection with people. I will set healthy boundaries that allow me to feel safe while I'm fostering healthy connections with people, okay? That's what we're doing. And we're in another way, y'all. This is a crucial step, okay? You have to start creating safe spaces within yourself. Begin by acknowledging and accepting your emotions without judgment. That, that goes back to that journal again. We're going to look at it, and we're going to start acknowledging and accepting your emotions without judgment. If you're mad, feel mad. If you're sad, feel sad. Go all the way. And sometimes if I'm on the phone with my friends and I see it, I'm like, oh, take a moment. Let's take a breath. Let's, let's just breathe it. <laughs> We don't have to rush to the next thing. If, if if I see them getting upset, we just breathe in the moment. And y'all too, give people the gift of vulnerability. Give people that safe that safe space to breathe. Okay? And when you acknowledge and you start accepting your emotions without judgment, vulnerability just flows. It just flows. Okay? So allow, your, allow yourself to feel and be present with what arises within you at any time. This awareness forms the foundation of vulnerability. Take moments of self-reflection, y'all. In those moments, just start self-reflecting. Start journaling, meditating, and silencing your mind. Okay? And in that silence, it'll help you uncover your innermost desires, your innermost fears, and those big, big, big dreams. Embrace those moments of solitude. And we've talked about this before. Embrace those moments and allow yourself to explore the depths of your being. And that is vulnerability. And the more you do that with you, the more you do that with you and God alone, the more you start really looking at your thoughts like clouds and they're just passing by. Okay, got that one. Write it down. Got that one. Write it down. Because we hold a lot as human beings that we don't share. Okay, and we got to start exploring those places so we can start cleaning out and making space for, for new things. Because some stuff is so dormant that we don't even know it's still there. <laughs> we got to start cleaning, these, cleaning our space out, our bodies, our minds, our spirits, our souls. We got to start cleaning it out. And the first step is to explore yourself. You got you to gotta go in, okay? And after we do that, guess what? It makes it easier for you to share with trusted individuals. Okay, and this is with the vulnerability with others. We're going to start being vulnerable with ourselves first because that's where it starts. I can I, can I talk to myself? Can I be honest with myself? Can I tell myself the truth about me, about how I feel? Because some of y'all will feel, oh, Jesus, some of y'all will feel mad. And I've been a, a, a valuable user of this uh, protective, what you call them, defense mechanism. I've, I've used it where I'm mad, I'm upset, but I still don't say nothing because as a as a child, even if I thought to say how I felt or thought to have an opinion, I get popped. So it allowed me to learn how to just deal, how to keep it in, how to how to go within yourself, how they say self-soothe. And it's good to self-soothe, but it's not healthy when you close your throat to what you really really want and you and I mean throat meaning your vocals your your voice your sound you shut that off to the world and that is where your power lies and when you're mad say oh no that made me feel oh no 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 I can't go around that okay so vulnerability allows you to open that up you'll see yourself and then guess what you could do you'll take some inventory and you'll know exactly what to share with trusted individuals okay and this Choose, y'all. Choose wisely. Choose trusted individuals who have shown you empathy, compassion, and understanding. If they have not shown you any of those three, I would just say, let's go out on another lunch date. Let's see what's happening. But empathy is your sign that this might be safe. Compassion, your sign that this may be safe. Understanding, this may be your sign that this is safe. And even if you say to them, hey, let me, let's, Give me a little more time. Speak up for yourself and be careful who you share it with. Empathy, compassion, and understanding. Write that down in your journal. 
that's how I know this may be safe. Empathy, compassion, and understanding. Share your thoughts, fears, and dreams with them. Once you start opening up, share all those things. Get, get it out of you. <laughs> okay? Open up about your struggles and be willing to receive support. Remember that vulnerability is about creating meaningful connections and fostering genuine intimacy within yourself, y'all, and other people. And do not be afraid to let them see your imperfections. A lot of us, I get anxiety about it when, when my, imp my imperfection is about to be on display. My mind starts going crazy and just, it's just, it gets weird sometimes. But guess what? I have learned to embrace those imperfections. And now they're so much a part of me. They're so beautiful when they come out. People's lives are changed. People's lives are touched. And it, and it, and it allows them to be who they are. And seeing that energy exchange is beautiful to me every single time. And it's because I embraced the imperfection that wasn't really an imperfection to begin with. Let's, let's be real. <laughs> It's how God made me, and it was a gift to transform atmospheres and people and bring a smile to someone's face who was sad. Those imperfections, I had to embrace, and I'm saying that to you. Embrace it, okay? Understand that vulnerability involves showing sides of yourself that are less than perfect. It's about accepting your flaws, knowing that they are beautiful, okay? By embracing imperfections, we allow others to do the same. I'm telling y'all. The, the it's contagious you start laughing and smiling it might they might not do it right off the bat but eventually they'll start laughing and smiling too vice versa if I'm not feeling well and my friend comes around me and and she's having a good old time nine times out of ten I'm gonna join in she gonna lift me up because I'm looking to feel better Ooh, that's good you know and vulnerability will say I don't really feel it today my friend come over and, and puts a smile on my face, me open enough to say, I'll take that. Okay? Cultivating empathy, y'all. Cultivate empathy and compassion for others. When we empathize with someone else's vulnerability, we create a safe space for them to share their own struggles. So y'all, we're going to extend kindness and understanding and a listening ear to those around you. We got to start doing that. Okay? Holding each other up in this vulnerable state because it's not easy. And we all need that help, that that safe space to be, okay? And y'all, when y'all start being vulnerable, when you start opening up, when you start sharing your story in a safe, trusted, trusted place, and you start doing things and saying things that you never thought you would, I need you to celebrate your courage. Recognize that vulnerability requires immense bravery. You gotta be brave to be vulnerable. And we also learned early on that bravery and fear can be together. It's not the absence of fear, it's just the courage to keep going. And vulnerability requires some bravery. And each step you take toward vulnerability is a triumph in itself. So you have to start acknowledging, recognizing, and embracing and honoring your efforts, no matter how small they seem to you. Yeah, you talk to your friend about it. That's a big step. Big step for me. I remember never really. I, I have a hard time sometimes calling my people when I'm going through something really, you know, emotional. <laughs> and calling a friend to say, hey, I need your help. It's big. It may seem small, but it's big. Because number one, your friend can say, I'm busy. Get off my phone. There's a lot of rejection that goes through our head when we think to call for help. But I'm telling you, no matter how small it seems, congratulate yourself for opening up and saying, hey, I need this. Hey, today that hurt. Hey, I'm, I had a trigger today. It reminded me of something that happened two years ago. I need to talk about it. That takes courage, and I'm proud of you. If there ain't nobody told you, Joy is proud of you for taking the step to say, I'm going to open up. Okay? So, y'all, I want y'all to remember, 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 dear beautiful souls, <laughs> Vulnerability is a gift that we give ourselves. And once we give that gift to ourselves in fullness and wholeness and honesty, we can gift that same gift to others. 
And we literally become that safe place for people to come and pour, release, and we just, it disappears. Just go, let it go. That's what we're going to do. And vulnerability allows you to do that. It allows us to connect deeply. It, it allows us to heal our wounds. It allows us to find strength within us that is, uh, what's the word, available for us to tap in at any time. So, y'all, I want y'all to tap into vulnerability and I want y'all to look at it as the superpower, okay? And it's going to shape your emotional freedom. Like, we're going to be free emotionally. We're going to be free to feel. We're going to be free to, from the numbness, from the blah, 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 day to day. Like, I don't feel nothing. It's all good. I don't really care about it. So I want us to start opening up, start embracing our story, start looking at your story and going, oh, that's dope. Yeah, I got evicted. Yeah, okay. But I'm, I'm good now. I'm wiser now. <laughs> I know how to do blah, blah, blah now. So I want you guys to start looking at your stories as beautiful, looking at yourselves as beautiful, looking at your imperfections as perfect. Because that's, you're enough. You're worthy of it all, okay? So we're going to start being what? Vulnerable. We're going to tap into vulnerability. The power of it. Because it transforms us. So I want you I thank y'all. I thank y'all for tuning in with your girl this Thursday. Thank you, thank you. And I hope this helped you guys. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you get your journals and start journaling. And until next time, be light, be love, be vulnerable. Peace.